Hi, we are from at home tuition. In this video, we are going to practice few examples on writing the number without actually counting it. First example is rewrite using the positive sign that is plus sign. So now 2 into 5 is 2 times 5 or 5 plus 5. So 2 into 5 we can tell it as 2 times 5 or 5 is repeated 2 times that is 5 plus 5. Okay, so in the same way next number is 4 into 18 is we can write it as 4 times 18 or 18 is repeated 4 times. So we can write it as 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18. So 18 is repeated 4 times. The next number is 3 into 20 is 3 times 20 or 20 is repeated 3 times. That is 20 plus 20 plus 20. So we are repeating 23 times. The next number is 8 into 9 is 8 times 9 or we are repeating 9 8 times. That is we have to write 9 8 times. We have to add it 8 times. So 1 plus 9 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 plus 9. So 9 is repeated 8 times. Next one is tell how many times. So now we have to count right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 9 is repeated 6 times. So we can write it as 6 into 9. 9 is repeated 6 times. So we can write it as 6 into 9. That is nothing but 54. 6 into 9 is 54. Next, the number is 4. And let's count how many times it is repeated. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now the number 4 is repeated 5 times. So we can write it as 5 into 4. That is nothing but 20. Same way, the next number is 8. 1, 2, 3. So 8 is repeated 3 times. So we can write it as 3 into 8 and we know that 3 into 8 is 24. The next number is 3. Okay, now let's count how many times it's repeated. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the number 3 is repeated 5 times. So we can write it as 5 into 3. So 5 into 3 is, we know that it is 15. Next is the number 30. And it's repeated 1, 2, 3 times. So the number 30 is repeated 3 times. So we can write it as 3 into 30. And 3 into 30 is 90. The next number is 7. And let's count how many times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the number 7 is repeated 6 times. So we can write it as 6 into 7 and we know that 6 into 7 is 42. The next number is 12 and it is written 1, 2, 3, 4. 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. So it's written 4 times. So 12 is repeated 4 times. So 4 into 12. We know that 4 into 12 is 48. The next number is 6. And it is 6 plus 6 plus 6. So it's written 3 times. 6 is repeated 3 times. So we can write it as 3 into 6. And we know that 3 into 6 is 18. The next number is 10. And it is written 1, 2, 3, 4 times. Right? So 10 is repeated 4 times. It's repeated addition we call it as. So 4 into 10. It's nothing but 40. Next number is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the number 2 is repeated 5 times. So 5 into 2 which is nothing but 10. The next number is 6. Let's count how many times it's repeated. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the number 6 is repeated 7 times. So we can write it as 7 into 6 which is nothing but 
42. So if you see here, the number 6 is repeated 7 times. So we are writing it as 7 into 6. And if you see this line, here it is number 7 and it is repeated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So we are writing it as 6 into 7. So the reverse, right? 7 into 6 here and here it is 6 into 7. Both the have same answer, 42. So the number of times the same number is repeated. So we will get the same answer. The next example is Ramu bought 4 packets of biscuits. Each packet has 4 biscuits. How many biscuits did Ramu buy? So they have given packets a number of pack biscuits in one packet. So we want to find the total number of biscuits. See it's given here. So we no need to count it like this. So we can do like this. Okay. So let's write the given thing first. Number of packets of biscuits is 4. Number of biscuits in one packet is 4. So the total number of biscuits is equal to number of biscuit packets into number of biscuits in one packet. So number of packets is 4 and number of biscuits in one packet is also 4. So 4 into 4 is 16. So thus Ramu buy totally 16 biscuits. The next example is there are 12 desks in a classroom. Each desk has 4 legs. What is the total number of legs of the desks? So it's given number of desks in a classroom is 12. And number of legs in one desk is 4. So therefore the total number of legs of the desks equal to number of desks into number of legs in one desk. So number of desks is 12. And in number of legs in one desk is 4. So 12 into 4 is 48. So thus there are totally 48 legs for 12 desks. Next example is Sabiha brought 3 bunches of flowers. Each bunch has 4 flowers. So how many flowers were there? So number of bunches of flowers is 3. And flowers in each bunch. Number of flowers in one bunch is 4. So total number of flowers is number of bunches into number of flowers in one bunch. So number of bunches is 3. And number of flowers in one bunch is 4. So 3 into 4 is 12. So thus there are totally 12 flowers in 3 bunches. Next example is one rail coach has 8 wheels. How many wheels in all in 6 coaches? So now it's given number of coaches is 6. So 6. So number of wheels in 1 coach is 1 rail coach has 8 wheels. So number of wheels in 1 coach is 8. So total number of wheels equal to number of coaches into number of wheels in 1 coach. So number of coaches is 6 into number of wheels in one coach is 8. So 6 into 8 is 48. So thus there are totally 48 wheels in 6 coaches. Hope you have understood how to find the total numbers without actually counting it by multiplying. Thank you for watching the video.